Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you haven't joined the chatterbox, feel free to join. I am getting baby Luca dressed. I'm just gonna put him in his little onesie and everything. Um, he is getting ready for his travel. Um, so he just got a bath and got his hair washed or whatever. So, I'm, I know a lot of people do like a lot of hard styling to their doll's hair before they travel and then they wrap it with all this saran wrap and all that great jazz. I, for one, don't like the whole saran wrap idea. Um, so, I'm not doing that. Um, but I am going to, because I'm going to put him on a hat so his hair is going to get messed up anyway. <laughs> so I just kind of tried to leave it as flat as I could um, and then he would just need it to be like kind of wet and you know like scrunch it to get curls back in it like his pictures um, but I just wanted to get him uh, this is a little bad <laughs> so I just want to get him ready put on his onesie I like for my babies to have like mitts on and stuff um I toggle between like sending them home like really dressed up or if just to put them in their you know like sleepwear because normally in box openings we just strip the babies down anyway <laughs> um because we want to see them um, at least I do. I know there's been a thing where people were saying stop doing that in the box openings. Like this community make up all types of rules or what you can and cannot do with your money and your box openings. But hey, whatever floats you guys' boats. But it's like don't, don't, um, don't undress them and stuff. We want to see them with their clothes on and all that. And I guess then that gives you an excuse to come back and do a detailed video. I don't know, but I... When I get a new baby, I need to see the uh, the bo the baby um, in the box opening. I need to record every moment for my record, so I kind of strip them down. So, a little bit, but to each his own. Sometimes that's why I like doing my box openings um, like offline because I don't want to have to share that moment, but. It's nice because we all like watching them, right? I definitely like watching box openings. It's nice because the, the mommies be so excited and, you know, and you just be excited because you're trying to see their new baby and stuff. And we just be proud aunties. So it has, it, everything like everything else in life, it has its pros and its cons. I just find sometimes I can't concentrate on, you know, I, I feel like I've, enjoy the ones that I've done private more but um all right so here we go I'll put his little hands in the mitts I always get confused like make it easier for us people um so I tried a different brand because I wanted to be able to of uh Onesie, so it's still supposed to be Carter's, but it's simply Joy Carter's, and I'm finding that they are cut a little bit smaller than the other Carter's. So I will remember that for future reference, but it's kind of better than I think it was another brand I had tried, they were. Too big so I'm like okay so we got too big too small all right let's see now where are you where where are you going okay this goes here snap snap it's funny cuz I was watching somebody else <laughs> dressing their baby and they was struggling with the uh, snaps and I know I do it all the time it's like see like just now I just snapped it to the wrong one it's like It's not that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. 
But I guess if you don't do this regularly, it gets crazy now. Do I want to put them on blue socks or white socks? I think I'm going to put them on the white socks. Just because. And then I'm going to put them on the... I'm going to put them on white socks. Yep. I'm going to put them on white socks. I'm going to fold them down. And I'm going to put him on a hat. And... I have so much going on I'm trying to get babies out, get babies finished up. This is kind of my last one. I do have like maybe two semi projects, but um, yeah, what you got going on? Okay, all right, so we're gonna wait. Not all the way up. Okay, here we go. All right, so then we got a hospital hat. And I'll flip this over. Let's see. I'm going to put his little hat on because we're going to be going for a little travel. There we go. Put that on. All right, so now he got. That, you know what, I don't think I ever found your pacifier. That's the thing, I have not found pacifiers. Um, hmm. I haven't decided what pacifier you're going to go home in. I'm going to record this. I'm probably going to show his mommy like privately but then I will when I make this public for you guys um then um he'll probably already be home like can we put the bear in it just I just thought the blue contrast just looked good <laughs> oh gosh okay wait there we go all right so that is him and he is he is ready um i did decide to root his eyebrows and leave them it's like a piece of hair right there i want to get it okay got it all right and i wanted to to leave them so you just take a little bit of water maybe and you know, lay down they're dry now but they lay in place so hands very like real eyebrows actually so that is that. So he is ready. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he is ready to travel. Like I said, I just need to pick out him pacifiers to go home with. And that's going to be it. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's actually about to leave. I feel so crazy that he's leaving. <sighs> okay, we're really going to do this now. All right, so everybody wish him luck once he reaches home. Um, for those that may not have found his mommy to follow him and the rest of her babies, um, I will share the uh, information in another video after he gets home or share the box opening on my community tab. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.